All right, so here's a little quick look at how the engine bay is. I've pretty much got my barometric pressure sensor here, fuse box here, the computer's running inside, so is the uh, TFI module. Uh, kind of got most everything cleaned up. So it's just stock Y going into the 80 millimeter MAF. I had to make an adapter plate for it. It's not mounted down. I ended up having to drill these other holes and that made a big difference. That one hole just wasn't big enough. Um, my fuel line's coming up over there. Um, I had made a block off plate for the EGR. And there's my bracket for my throttle that kind of comes back around. It, it could be better, but it does a job. And this exhaust manifold bolt here is the one that's broke and leaks. So this is bank one, obviously, on the passenger side. So let me go ahead and fire it up. And it's cold. It's been sitting here all day. Granted, it's 105 degrees according to the car earlier. So turn it to on. And then go ahead and start the data log. Well, I thought I touched it. All right. kind of forget how to get rid of this bar across here. I don't remember how I did that. Dang it. Just can't really see RPM. Oh well, I think you can see the main stuff anyways. Idle's kind of hunting a little bit. Oh, there we go. I can see a little bit more.
I were to put it into gear right now, it would probably start jumping all over the place. It may stay running, it might not. But usually if I put it in gear and kind of stomp on it a little, sometimes it'll actually idle. Other times, no. Well, to be honest, it's acting a little bit better than it normally does. But, I don't know, right now, engine cold temps at 162. I would have hoped the oxygen sensors would be reading a little better by now. I'd imagine if I tap the throttle, it'll probably read and then kick out.
Alright, so since it's making me look like a liar, let me. Uh, this is pretty much the truck. I'll go ahead and put it in gear and we'll see if it starts jumping around. I mean, it's not fully warmed up, but it was at like 100 and almost 70. Uh, let's see if I can get this turned around. Hopefully this comes out halfway decent. I apologize, guys. Uh, definitely appreciate any and all help. Um, yeah, I guess you can kind of see it there. Okay. That's not bad. Neutral. Back to drive. It's a C6 automatic, FYI. Uh, neutral. Let's see if I can get those oxygen sensors to kick in. Try a few different RPMs here. See what you guys think. Yeah, that was roughly 1600. Try to drop down a little. Back to idle. Well, uh, sometimes my throttle sticks. Let me tap it. Taking a while to get down an RPM.
I'm going to go ahead and put it in drive. It seems a lot better today. I don't know. Still in drive, I'm holding the brake. It's a little over 1500 RPM. Go to neutral. I just would think the RPMs would drop a little bit faster because I have my desired RPM at 800 RPM. It'll get there just like it takes forever. I'm assuming that's maybe the dash pot setting, but I'm not sure. I'll try revving it at a few different RPMs. It's right about 1900. About 2500. Wide up throttle one more time. So I don't know if this helps. I'm sorry it's long. Um, I'll try to chop it up and put different areas and notate what the times are so I don't waste anybody's time. So thanks for looking. Hopefully you got some insight for me. Thanks.